Good morning, welcome back. Are there values that are higher than our individual values? Our reading is from Jeremiah chapter 38, today verses 19 through 22. And Zedekiah the king said to Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews who have defected to the Chaldeans, lest they deliver me into their hand and they abuse me. But Jeremiah said, They shall not deliver you. Please obey the voice of the Lord which I speak to you. So it shall be well with you, and your soul shall live. But if you refuse to surrender, this is the word that the Lord has shown me. Now behold, all the women who are left in the king of Judah's house shall be surrendered to the king of Babylon's princes. And those women shall say, Your close friends have set upon you and prevailed against you. Your feet have sunk in the mire, and they have turned away again. So they shall surrender all your wives and children to the Chaldeans. You shall not escape from their hand, but shall be taken by the hand of the king of Babylon, and you shall cause this city to be burned with fire. So Zedekiah tells Jeremiah his fears, and it's pretty clear Zedekiah is afraid for himself. And Jeremiah responds by pleading not only what's best for Zedekiah, which he does address, but he also goes on and talks about what's best for other people that are involved, like the king's wives and the city of Jerusalem and all the people that live there in the nation. Now, it's long past time for the king to be worried about other things beside his own disposition. He is, after all, the king, you know. He's not the guy that works at the corner supermarket. He has the responsibility, the spiritual and leadership responsibility of, of being the king. Now, it's been God's plan all along to create a kingdom of princes. If you look at Exodus 19, verse 6, you'll see that. And so we all need to behave straight with God and also be thinking of the welfare of others. And since we're giving people, not just receiving, it's not just about us and what pleases self. It's about how we can serve others. That's the way of Jesus. So we should all have that kind of outward-looking uh, approach to individuals and what's good for people. So it was in Zedekiah's power to act decisively for others. He could have done enormous benefit here by keeping the kingdom, the city from being burnt, the kingdom from being invaded by Babylon. He could have done a lot for the people. He could have saved a lot of lives, but he's been busy thinking about himself too much. All these hardships and death, much of that could have been very much prevented, but he hasn't been decisive. He's been an indecisive leader. And now he's going to actually send Jeremiah away without making a commitment. He's listened to him. He's called for him. He's, he's heard his counsel again and again, I might add. And now he sends Jeremiah away. And he's still not clear-minded about what to do. Well, let's you and I pray. Dear Father in heaven, there are values that are higher than our individual values. There are things that are more important than what's just good for me. Like if I'm the king or whoever I am. I need to think about other people as well. So, Lord, please be our guide, soften our hearts, help us to be on the side of Jesus. Dear Father, there's a special need your church has today, and that's a need of men who will not be bought or sold, men who will be faithful no matter what happens, men who will lead out and be faithful no matter what the pressures are, Men who can be not only decisive, but men who can even be right and leading your people. You have leaders for us. We just need to know who they are. So help us to know who your leaders are. And Lord, you put those in the places where they can do the most good things. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, I don't know if this has ever occurred to you, but an emergency is an uncommon opportunity to do what's right. Zedekiah has an uncommon opportunity here. And... Well, I guess we'll see tomorrow morning what happens next. May God be with you today as you serve him today.